Another round of protests last night here in Las Vegas. Things did start peacefully on the Las Vegas Strip, but it didn't stay that way. Hector Mejia is live this morning near Mandalay Bay, where Metro Police did make some arrests overnight. Hector. John, it's all quiet now, but last night we saw tense clashes between Metro Police and demonstrators. What is not clear yet is how many people they arrested here during that demonstration. Let's show you video from last night. The majority of the protesters remained peaceful here along the Las Vegas Boulevard. We also saw rioters and looters last night. It ended with tear gas and Metro Police firing rubber bullets to disperse crowds on Las Vegas Boulevard just outside the Mandalay Bay. Sunday's demonstration drew about 300 people marching against racism and police brutality. The movement, as we've been telling you, triggered by the death of George Floyd, the unarmed black man who died in police custody last week in Minneapolis. We talked with protesters who said they don't want their message to get tarnished by acts of vandalism and violence. Me and my friends, we, have, we just want to decide that it's time to make a change for everything. Race shouldn't really matter about all that. My friends are, are white and my family is black and we're all coming together because this is a really big deal. And if people can't understand it, then it's okay. We'll, we'll still get the message through peacefully. Well, last night was the third straight night of large protest in Las Vegas. It's not clear if those demonstrations will continue throughout the week. And we should know information about the number of arrests made here last night sometime today uh, for Metro Police. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.